So this is an actual IB problem, one that I want you to be able to master. And this particular problem gives you an equation with trigonometry identities embedded. <coughs> it gives you a, a uh, quadrant. You said quadrant what? One. Love it. Okay. Then you're going to find an expression for cosine squared. A weird question, but it'll, it'll make sense. What was your first move? Did you get a first move? Anybody in this corner? Did you try anything? What'd you try? What's that? Oh, okay. So you have A sine 4x equal negative B sine 2x. Love it. And what did you do? And then you divided both sides by that? Okay. So you have A sine 4x over, did you go negative or positive B sine 2x? Oh, you, did you leave this equal to negative 1 or positive 1? Oh, okay. So then you did that. All right. Then what? That's the big move. That's the big move. I like it. Uh, a lot of people are going to try to change this one. How many of you changed sine 2x? That's a trap because what will happen is, is it's going to get messy, and then you'll do more, and it'll get messier, and it actually runs into a dead end. But did we talk about mazes in here? You know, this is, this is a classic of where you're going to run into a dead end and just go back, try something else. Uh, we have something exciting this year on the IB test that actually have, for the first time ever, shorter tests. Uh, they're shortening the, the number of questions are less than they've ever been, so you have more time to do problems like this. Now, that worries me a little. Why does it worry me a little? Ugh, I hope they don't do that. hope they don't make them harder, but um, I like your idea here. A sine... 2x cosine 2x times 2 over negative b sine 2x equal 1. You okay with that? Now uh, let's talk that, that one over a little bit. Sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. That's the identity we proved last week. So what would sine 4x be? It'd still be a 2, but instead of, of x, it's going to be 2x. All right, how about this one? Uh, sine 10x. It's still going to be 2. Sine what? 5x. Five. Five Does that make sense? Are you okay with that? Sine x, cosine x, yeah. All right, so going back here, why was that a helpful thing? Why was it helpful changing this sine 4x into 2 sine 2x cosine 2x? Why was that helpful? Cancels out. Yeah. These are all multiplied, so we can cancel these out. So you get 2 a cosine 2x over negative b equals 1. Is that all right? Okay. Now, see what you can do to solve for this guy. Go. So, several of you solve for cosine 2x brilliantly negative b over 2a. Fantastic. But now what do we need to do? What should we change cosine 2x into? You have three choices. This cosine squared minus sine squared or these other two. The one that I want is b or c. c because we want cosine squared x. So 
set this equal to 2 cosine squared x minus 1 equal negative b over 2a. And now, algebraically, you'll be able to solve for cosine squared. By the way, could they have just as easily asked for sine squared x? Sure, then you'd use b. Easy. Is anybody confused on how I got this? You want? So what if we made it equal to, I'm just going to show you what it would have been. I would have gone negative b over 2a. Look what it would have been if I would have gone cosine squared minus sine squared. Then I want cosine alone, cosine squared. So I would go 1 minus cosine squared. Does that make sense? So you see where the two cosine squareds come from and the minus 1. This is just a shortcut. So part of IB is doing the, the algebra. So let's see if you can get the algebra correct. So I would move the 1 over, 1 minus b over 2a. And that will just give me cosine squared is 1 half minus b over 4a. Now some people like to get a common denominator. How many of you have this for an answer? Great. That's fine. I think it's great. If you wanted to get a common denominator, you're going to get 2a minus b over 4a. Let me get that. Okay. Pretty amazing answer, wouldn't you say? And you could do sine squared as well. Now, stop. And I want you to talk to someone you haven't talked to yet and explain from beginning to end how you found what cosine squared equal to 2a minus b over 4a is.